Hello everyone. I know it's been a while since I made my last video, but I was feeling a bit under the weather. That's a lovely accent you have. I have been watching way too many Australian movies. Good day, mate. I wanted to do another video talking about RSS. What? I know, dude. A lot of people, including doctors, don't seem to know what this is. RSS means red skin syndrome, which is usually followed by its only cure, TSW, topical steroid withdrawal. Red skin syndrome is when your body has become dependent on topical steroids. Most doctors will prescribe topical steroids if you come in with either a skin rash or a skin irritation. There are also varying different kinds of potency in topical steroids, one being super potent and seven being mildly potent. However, what many people don't seem to realize about this type of medication is that if you use it for longer than two weeks or a prolonged period of time, you have the outrageous potential of it royally screwing up your life. No, God, please, no, no! I mean, huge. Don't get me wrong, if these drugs are used properly, they can work wonders. But if you start using them in your everyday routine, then you're asking for trouble. Your body may become addicted to it, and then you'll have to withdraw from it. However, unlike other types of withdrawals, this one can last for months to years. Yeah, years. You can go from looking like this to looking like this. And if you think I am joking, you can take a look at me. I went from this to looking like this. And that is how people stare at you when you try to go out and do normal things in the world. Topical steroid withdrawal is not a joke, it is not made up, and it needs to be taken seriously. Because this is basically what happens. First, you start to notice that something is wrong with your skin. What the f*** is going on?! You end up with red skin all over you, sometimes in patches, sometimes in your entire body. You look like you just spent all of your time at the beach without any sunscreen on. And worst of all, you feel like it. This pain can last an extreme amount of time. This is not an exaggeration. You will go through a plethora of emotions, including despair, Anger, and all around general confusion as to why this is happening to you. I cannot stress enough how emotionally, physically, and mentally overwhelming this process can be. You are going to want help, and you're probably going to drive yourself crazy trying to find an answer. I don't need sleep. I need answers. I need to determine where in this swamp of unbalanced formulas squatteth the toad of truth. The best thing you can do if you're going through this is to not only lean on family and friends for support, but to find a doctor. This can be a very trying period of time. As much as we all try to spread awareness, there are still going to be many doctors who don't want to look at the paperwork that we give them or listen to our qualms about how our extensive history of topical steroid use can be contributing to why we look like a tomato. I swear to you, I went to a doctor and talked to her about red skin syndrome and she looked at me like I could be clinically insane. I mean like bonkers loony. Over here! Has he had a long history of mental illness? Mental illness? Mental illness? But there are doctors out there who will listen and who do believe that RSS and TSW are real. It's like striking gold when you find these doctors. You should celebrate when you do. I need to feel you, Jerry! Show me the money! Jerry, you better yell! Show me the money! Now I have many other videos dedicated to topical steroid withdrawal. I have one video describing all the lovely symptoms. I have another video giving you my opinion of what helps during TSW. I have one video where I shave my head. Yep, hair loss can be one of the many symptoms. 
and another video of me talking about my time out in California with The Doctor Show. Another place you can go for guidance is itsan.org, I-T-S-A-N.org. It is the International Topical Steroid Addiction Network. It is a huge resource for anything topical steroid withdrawal related or red skin related. They have a Facebook page as well for support. I'll share the link below. I truly hope that all of you watching this, regardless if you're going through TSW or not, are taking control of your health. If you have a skin problem and you go to your doctor and they immediately prescribe topical steroids without further investigating what is causing the problem, then you're not getting the best care that you deserve. It's that simple. Be safe and take action. Keep going, keep fighting through this, document everything that you're going through even if you don't want to so that down the road no one else has to endure this. I love you all and I wish you the best on your journey.